the the Dana Moore, the mayor of Dana Moore, which is the town of Clinton, correction, right? And it changed for me. I was getting my ass kicked everywhere. Governor, Kate Vincent, police was putting hands on me there. I went to Auburn Box. They put hands on me there. Soon as I got the Clinton, that shit just changed the whole momentum. The motherfucker took me to the mall, the sergeant, Menard, that was a dude named Menard, Maynard, and said, Joe, put your back on the wall. I said, Joe, this shit is kind of cold. He said, because this is what we call a facility mall. And if you try some shit like that here, this is gonna be your next permanent residence. However, did the motherfucker that you do that to, did he look like one of us? I was like, nah, did he look like one of us? And he pulled up his sleeve and he had a tattoo. I was like, nah. He's like, then you good, cause the motherfucker probably deserved it. What anyway. was the tattoo? The tattoo was some was some like an Aryan nation, like a skinhead cult, like a cult type of uh, swastika. Not not the Nazi swastika, but some other shit from a cult. You could tell that it was straight all white crackers, cause blacks don't do shit like that. There ain't no no symbols and shit like so that. So he was actually was the guard that got He asked poisoned. me about the was guard that was poisoned. Well, did, was he one of these? And I was like, absolutely not. And he said, did he look like any of these? I was like, no. He was like, then fuck him because he probably deserved the motherfucking shit. Anyway, but you'll be good here though. You know why? Because I run this shit here. And boom, and from there, that's how I found out about how all the blood niggas was snitching. Remember, faking, sweeping in the monitor room, checking out the monitors, stealing all the cassette tapes. Those was hearing tapes. I got to find out a lot of shit. That sergeant turned out to be, strange as it may sound, more realer with me than the motherfucking niggas was in the yard, man. Let me hit that. Because, because I was trying to tell you before like, that we like didn't get the story. That I needed some niggas to go out in the yard and help me, you know what I'm saying? Or hold me down with them Cuban niggas with that Cuban shit. There's some more stories about the Cuban with that nigga Paito, Pachito. I'll tell you yeah. about that on camera Light too. Light it up for me. Them niggas trying to get yeah, me. And we're gonna talk about that. We, we you said you had the uh the more Cuban story joint and shit. Black niggas ain't smoke. shit because you know, like if you came to me and said, yo, man, I got beef out there in the in the in the yard. With some, with some black brothers, right? Or some Cuban or another race of niggas, you know, this knife wielding motherfuckers, right? And I'm your man, we eat together at night, we work out together, and then when you come to me with that shit, now I give you excuses about, nah, yo, I gotta call out, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. That ain't a real nigga, because a real nigga post up with you regardless of who he's up against. And when I went to all these niggas and asked the niggas, they talking about I'm going to the board in four months. Who, who was it specifically? Was it like Bloods? I asked, I asked some black brother niggas that I knew, man. You know, one of them, it's, 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 it's various of people, man. I, I kicked it to a 5% dude that I know that I banged out with him and beat up some motherfucking Puerto Rican dudes in Elmira. So I figured you return the favor. Just post up. I need numbers out there. <laughs> you and them Puerto Ricans, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> you, you. I had a hard time with them niggas, Puerto though, Ricans. man. The German niggas, man. I'm telling you. And, and, and them Cubans is just a spinoff of them motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? But that Cuban nigga was different between them and them Germans and Puerto Ricans. The Cubans is serious. You got to hit them motherfuckers, man. You can't fake out. You can't body fake them. You can't pump fake them. You can't be like, yo, we get out to the yard and we're going to talk about it and it ain't going to go down. Uh-uh. You When it's on with them niggas, you better hit one of them niggas because you can bet your last dollar they catch you, they're going to blow your ass up. Work them up. Because he was Cuban. And I knew who it was. They lined me up. I was right in the, in the, in the web, in the, in the den. They had me dead right. But the nigga that I got the beef with, he was like a fake out dummy nigga, like, yo, we ain't got no beef, we smoking weed together, you get a little money, you know, we got the yard on lock, you good people with me. He got his man following up on us, man, another little Cuban nigga, and he coming around the back, that's the nigga with the knife. And I already knew it, man, so I said, you know what, I'm gonna shoot this nigga right here. Shot him and tried to get up out of there and right into the web, into this little Cuban nigga, and he shot me, blew my ass up. And that's what I'm telling you. From that point on, I'm asking.
masking, no questions. They read about that shit in the tear hearing or whatever. I'm asking no questions. Any jail I go to, I'm gonna find out how many Cubans is here. When I find out how many of them is here, I know how many niggas I gotta hit. And I know how long I'm gonna stay in this jail, you know? And that shit just get crazy, man. But yeah, the black niggas folded on me, man. They was like, oh, I'm going to the board. I got a trailer visit coming up. I know all this shit is important. Going to get some pussy. You locked up, you go on the trailer visit every six months. I know that shit is important, but what about what about the fact is that if you ever go down on the visit and come back with some weed or whatever, them niggas gonna press you. And you ain't down with the knife game, so you gonna be looking for some brothers to hold you down if the shit get thick. All I was telling you is just to post up out there. I ain't tell you pick up no knife, shoot nobody or none of that. But what they knew is that I wanted them to post up against some crazy ass Cubans. And they know if they standing around and they ain't willing to get down and bang out when Cuba's gonna tear their ass up out there. That's why they refuse to come out there and hold me down. But that's all right, cause I came out all good. Look at me, I'm good. Them niggas is still trying to figure out why he hit him. Cause he Cuban. Cause he Cuban. Cause he Cuban, man. So you, you got the Cubans and the Puerto Ricans all just lumped in one. Yo, the Did you have with, beef with the Puerto the problem, Ricans, man? The problem with them you had beef with the Puerto Ricans? Because this, this is what I'm saying, because yeah. we we grew up with Puerto Ricans. Mm -hmm. like, I understand that, you know, Puerto Ricans, Cubans, Colombians. Like, you didn't have no Puerto Ricans in the BX growing Boy, up? I speak Spanish and all of that, man. I read Spanish, I speak Spanish. So what's your beef that? with the Puerto Ricans? My beef with them niggas is that when we got in the penitentiary, right, the motherfuckers thought that because there's a hundred of them niggas speaking oye, oye, and very few of us, and blacks don't like to see a knife get hit with a knife. Black dude, fear was his own blood linking out of his body. So they knew that. They played on that stigma. When they got to the penitentiary, they started forming Voltron, like moving on niggas, jumping them, and all that, putting the fear in them. And I used to watch this shit go down, and I was like, if it ever transpired with me, I'm tearing this German nigga up. And he the first one. So when we started naming them Germans, of course they're not German. Not seeing them niggas with, or Hitler them niggas is Germans. Nah, but these niggas is spread like roaches, just like them. And that's why I got a beef. And my beef was I was selling them niggas shit. And they act like they lack kings and they ain't got to pay because there's so many of them. So very few of me because I'm neutral. And, and I shoot them. I have a trooper with me. She comes see me on a visit in the ice storm. So it don't matter, I'll be laid up in the box, SHU, smoking a blunt, and laughing at these stupid niggas, how I shot this nigga broad daylight and just got out of there. They can call me what they want to call me, but that's how the shit went down. But them was my only problems. I never had no beef with them Jamaican dudes in jail. I never had beef with the Muslims where I had to shoot a Muslim or none of that, man. I just know them niggas got us killed for the Red Shoe Diary, man. I know. I know them niggas got them to take that shit off the market. They talk about us against their religion and all that stupid shit. But I never had no beef with no Muslim, no Jamaican dude. It's them fucking Cubans and them Puerto Ricans, man. And, and, and yeah, and believe it or not, man, back in 87 and all of that, brothers was getting done. You run into them, you see them in these videos with these long ass scratches and marks on their face and puncture wounds and all of this crazy shit. Where they done went down, they the victims. They done got victimized. They got a house in Rikers Island in 1986 called Admin Seg. All Puerto Ricans lived in there. Buckwheat, Chudo, Guanas, ST. If you black and they send you in that house, by lunchtime you'll be leaving out the stretch of world is born. And so a nigga knew that when he went in. He got busy right there before he dropped his bag off and all of that shit. Cause there ain't no sense on sleeping up in there. Crazy man, that's a little fact. The niggas gonna kill you in there. They said it. They ain't want no blacks living in here. Either respected, three going in there, trying to change the complexity of that shit. The niggas is racist. The niggas all them chulo, guanas, buckwheat, st. All them niggas doing, and none of the niggas can fight. All them niggas was nice with these knives, man, and these razors. They couldn't fight a lick. So if you had this much heart, man, you fuck one of them niggas up, man, with they knife and they razor. But black niggas see they own blood bleeding and they freeze and get told the fuck up, man. I watched this shit go down plenty of times. That shit never happened to me. 
I got hit. I got the fuck out of there when I got hit. And I told the police, open the motherfucking door. I'm bleeding. Do your job. He was like, what happened to you? I fell on the bocce court with the horseshoes. Where you throw the horseshoes around the, the horseshoe ring. And I'm over there for doing goofy shit. And I fell on the shit. And that's how I got the puncher hole in my... Get me to the fucking infirmary. I got out of there. I'm not going to be no stupid nigga and go try to hang out in the back of the yard somewhere where this ill ass nigga know I'm still out there. So when it's time to go in, when hundreds of niggas is going in at one time, he going to hit me again. And that one, he going to slide me right out the game. So before all that go down, I got hit. I knew I was hurt. I'm getting the fuck out of here right now.